and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I'm going to repot this Quarterline Fruticosa Glauca. And it is a plant that has a tap root. I have another video on what are tap roots. So this plant does need a repotting. It has been in this pot for a while. You can tell by the roots coming out here. And this root right here, you can see that right there, that big thick root. <laughs> That is what is known as a tap root, and <clears throat> it is um, rather large, as you can see. So, what we're going to do right now is we are going to um, go ahead and repot this plant and make some room for the tap root to grow. So this plant is probably not going to come out of this pot because of the taproot very easily. I, I, I'm not going to be able to get it out that way, so I am going to have to cut it out. And this was a cash pot that was being used to hold it. And this is its new pot. Uh, you can see it's just a little bit bigger, not a lot bigger, as I always talk about, not to overpot your plants. Uh, you want to go up about one pot size, maximum two pot sizes when you do repot. And this one, as you see, is a long pot because I'm making room for the tap root because tap roots grow straight down. Some common plants that are tap roots are actually, one of them is carrots, and you actually eat the tap root. But with this guy, you don't. Now I'm kind of cut it out. It's just an old plastic pot. I don't really care about it, but you would want to, I'm going to have to make sure that this thing, this sort of thing doesn't happen in its new pot where it goes through the drainage holes. There's one drainage hole in the middle, so I'm going it, to, it'll be positioned away from that. And I have drywall tape on that drainage hole so that it will keep the soil in as well. And it would be hard for the taproot to make its way, harder for the taproot to make its way through that. Okay. So as mentioned, I'm cutting this out. Uh, this is going to have to happen around the taproot area in particular. So when you're doing this, you want to be careful, obviously not try to be careful around all the roots, but sometimes you have to get a little bit rough -er just to get something like a taproot dealt with. <clears throat> Obviously, it would have been nice to have noticed this before, but the tap roots can grow pretty darn quickly. So I'm doing my best here to not create too much damage, but it is not always easy, like I said, but these tap roots are tricky. You're going to want to get good scissors for something like this. Now I'm going to check on the other part of the plant. It's doing okay. The only problem is it is not as large of a root system as I thought. I think we'll still be okay. The the these cordylines they do grow fairly quickly, so Plants that grow very quickly, and it doesn't necessarily like to be pot-bound, and I do need to give it some room for this taproot that's causing all kinds of problems right now. Um, I may have to get some stronger scissors here. These are okay, but they're not excellent. I do have some garden shears that probably would have worked better, but now that I'm in here, whoop, okay. Looks like I got it. So now I'm going to pull it away, the plastic away from this guy, this taproot. 
as gently as possible and get it out of this pot. Okay, now it should come out with no problems now that it's under, <laughs> out of that uh, little tiny hole there. Okay, so here we go. And you can see the tap root. You can also see that the roots to this plant are nice and healthy and happy. The white roots, tan roots, what in they're nice and firm. What it there's more of a problem when it is a uh, when they're squishy and black and dark and, and especially when they're squishy and black. Okay, so looking good. Shaking off this old soil. It's been in this soil for a while. Now, as I always talk about, you want two-third plant to one-third pot ratio, which this is going to be when we're done here. However, I also talk about two-thirds root to, to, to one-third pot. This is going to be a little bit more than that, but I think we're going to be okay, like I mentioned, because these plants are quick growers it's going it's likely going to fill up the pot quickly and I have to make room for this tap root because I can't put it into another small pot where the tap roots right up against it so it's going to be elevated some so the tap root can grow down some okay so I have some soil here that is um, I'll put a link below for this soil and this is a pro mix and I'm going to add the pro mix BX. I'm going to add some of my, my perfect pumice products, a pumice for drainage. I'm also going to add some of my green gourmet houseplant food. I'm be using the top part here. Okay. So you want the soil moist, but not soggy. So I'm going to add a little more water here. Mix it in good. Okay, now we've got a nice moist soil on top here. I'm not going to use all this soil. So I moistened the top part here to use. Set the plant down, put some soil in here. You want to check underneath to make sure that the screen or the, if you use screen or the drywall tape is still in place. I'm going to set it in there. I put about three inches of soil, probably uh, two and a half to three inches of soil. Looks like I can put a little bit more, so probably more like three inches, which is great because it'll give that tap root room to grow. Okay. Now I'm putting this in. You want to position where you're about a quarter of an inch down from the rim so that when you water, the, the soil doesn't rush over the top or the water doesn't rush over the top. Sometimes it'll knock the soil out too and um, not get to the plant, not get to the roots very well. Okay, so we are filling this guy in. Gonna be a lot happier plant once this is done out of that old soil. As mentioned, these guys do like to grow pretty quickly. So especially with this soil and also with the fertilizer in it, it's gonna be nice and happy. You wanna make sure you wanna tamp down. I have a video on what tamping is, which is basically patting down. So you make sure you don't have any air pockets. Using some of the soil that fell is fine. Just try not to use the old, too much of the old soil. Not that it would be bad unless you had something like root rot, which this one doesn't, but um, it's just used soil that you're better off using fresh soil. That's one of the reasons why you're repotting. Okay, so good here. Tamp down well. No more air pockets. We are now going to water this cordyline now that it's all nice and even. Let it sink in. So you want to get it nice and moistened and, and it probably won't need a drink for a good week or, or so um, as it starts to acclimate. You'll know the plant is acclimated, that it's, that it's, uh, that it is uh, 
doing well when it put, starts to put on new growth. So that tells you that a plant is, is it has adjusted. And that looks like we've got it pretty well soaked. You can let it soak in a little bit more, clean off the outside. This gives you a really good idea of what how pretty the plant looks now in its pot. And it's just the perfect size for it. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you can get a little bit better view here. So of the, of the, of the ratio here, so you get uh, an idea of how that is. So you know that, like you said, the two thirds, always try to clean it off and it's not, I'm gonna have to clean it off with something cleaner than my dirty gloves here. Uh, so the, the, the two thirds paint plant to one third pot ratio, you can see that pretty clearly here now. And the plant, I love the thing I love about repotting, besides the fact that the plants then go ahead and respond by growing, growing even more, growing even more healthily, getting really pretty more pretty new pretty leaves on them, is that they just look better as soon as you get them into a new pot. As soon as you get them into that the, the right size pot, especially if you go from plastic to a really pretty ceramic, glazed ceramic like this, they just look better within minutes. So there you go, this beautiful cordyline fruticosa glauca, all nicely um, uh, repotted here. And I do have a video on them as well that I'll link to as well as other things that I mentioned. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.